A few months after Hurricane Dorian ravaged the northwestern islands of the Bahamas, entire communities are now just mountains of rubble. I just returned from Marsh Harbor, the hardest hit area, to see what's left there and how some survivors who feel abandoned by their government are making plans to rebuild on their own. Marsh Harbor's new reality. A perfect picture of catastrophe. The scale and scope takes cover under darkness with not a single working street light. This place was the only fire department in Marsh Harbor and it is now in shambles. I'm sure this was a cover that used to hide the fire departments and served as a way for them to have some sort of privacy. That was peeled back. And right next to it is a boat just destroyed. The winds and the water from Dorian just completely destroyed this fire truck. This is lots of wood and all on this. What was a fire truck that may have saved lives and it's now gone. The windows, everything, the windshield, just, just gone. Out of respect, I'm going to put it on that chair and off the ground. Because they have done so much for so many. On a refrigerator at an abandoned home in Marsh Harbor, a neighbor leaves an angry message for the country's prime minister. Some Abaconians feel abandoned by their own government. So just how do you pick up the pieces? Begin a new chapter. We're, we are looking forward to getting Abaco back in business. Ken is president of the Abaco's Chamber of Commerce. But we have a blank canvas. What would we like Marsh Harbor to look like in five or ten years? And, and what's it going to take to do that? Okay, well, let's bring in some of the best city planners in the world to say, this is, this is what you have, and this is what it can look like, and this is how much it's going to cost. And we're going to take those ideas, and we're going to take them to government and say, okay, here's what we have financed, these studies, here's the recommendations, and here's the money to do it. And that effort by storm survivors who never left Marsh Harbor is called Project Resurrect. Recently, they had a meeting in Nassau, and more than 200 business owners attended. And as more residents begin to return, they expect and hope the interest well, only deep in. Mm. Yeah, it yeah. really is a big effort. When you, they're on the ground. I've been there, you've been there. I mean, that, yeah. that destruction is just awesome. I've never seen anything like that, not yeah. on that scale. You know, I, I, I was telling someone earlier today, it looks like someone literally went around to every building and every home there mm -hmm. and put dynamite in it. Yeah. Because every, every building, every structure is blown out. And Calvin, the people that want to stay there, why are they staying through that? Why don't they wait for things to at yeah. least be demolished and more livable before they go back and start rebuilding? Uh, materially, they're not only connected to uh, mm -hmm. Marsh Harbor. Spiritually, yes, sir. they are connected. Yes, sir. They'll never leave. They want to see it. Really the resilience is awesome. Oh, really. it's unbelievable. It really is impressive. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Great report. Yeah, thank you.